And somewhere out there, there is a way to look at it that we can agree upon. Right. Right. I think I think what I was trying. I don't think I explained it very well because it seems to me that what you're pointing to is a higher non-dual synthesis of spirit and matter, or consciousness and matter. Mm. That's that's non-specific. In other words, what do you mean non-specific? I mean, in other words, it doesn't take a specific form in terms of any particular material phenomenon being the focus. No. And and that's I think the distinction yeah. I was trying to make. Yeah. That this is an absolutely sort of universal fusion yeah. of the two of the two, yeah. and that's why I think it's so profound because I think it has the potential to alleviate us of the of of the of the um, differences, the different interpretations. Well, let's hope so. That's what that's what the idea is. Right. To help find a way to to eliminate or minimize the impact right. of the differences. Right. Right. right and to maximize the potential of the similarities. Right, yeah. that's right. And the unity. That's right. Yeah. Well, I have just one more question, Edward, okay, if that's good. okay, thank you. Um, what do you feel, you know, you, you said this beautiful thing about, you know, you quoted that, you know, that we're the ones we've been waiting for. Mm-hmm. And there's something about that, hearing that, that opens naturally mm-hmm. one's heart. To this whole process. Yeah, well, that comes right out of the indigenous American culture. I mm. think it's I think it's mm. Chief Seattle mm. that started that. I'm That's not beautiful. sure what the accreditation is. Right. But it's the notion if we keep waiting for to be saved, yeah, uh, we're going to wait a long time. That's right. That's right. That we've got to do something ourselves. Right. I haven't noticed that we can mess things up and God cleans it up. Yeah. So. We've got to take the action. Yeah. And that's really what that's designed to do. That's right. That's right. That, it's about uh, us now. It's, really. it's about us. It's about here and now. Right. And responsibility. How best do you feel, or uh, how do you feel? How best do you feel we need to? Uh, because this really involves individual transformation. Pardon? It, this really involves individual transfiguration. Well, I think that's one way. Yeah. I, hope, I hope. Certainly, that is a way. Mm. I don't know whether it's the only way, mm-hmm. but it's certainly a powerful way. Mm-hmm. Certainly, for those of us who've had that experience, it's a powerful way. Right, right, right. Um, but one way or another, individuals are going to have to change. Yep. Yep. For the collective to change, for something yep. to be released through yep. the collective. Yep. And I wondered if you could speak about how best to embrace the necessity for that, you know, within oneself and well, collectively. I don't know how to address that, except to say people of... When you've had the experience, it happens naturally. Yeah. It's just part of the process. Yeah. But we see it happening with people of conscience in their pain and wanting to to purge the pain, to heal right. the pain, right. this is the way to do it. Right. It's a, the way to do it is communication. The way to do it is reaching out. The way to right. do it is is uh, getting with other people. Right. And uh, then it seems to happen. Right. 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 It was certainly part of what was most powerful about the conference. what happened I here. Yeah. 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 Fantastic. Okay. Great. Thank you so much. You're welcome.